You know, you mentioned ESG. It sort of dovetails with this letter uh, from Larry Fink oh, about absolutely. the end of globalization. The Russian invasion of Ukraine has put an end uh, to the globalization we've experienced over the last three decades. Um, Howard Marks as well, talking yes. about um, rather than the cheapest, easiest and greenest sources uh, of energy, let's say, they'll probably more, be more of a premium uh, put on the safest and surest. You know, look, I think Larry's great, Howard Marks great. I just wish that someone would say, OK, we're going to do a new kind of investing. If you're committing genocide, we're not going to let we're not going to invest in you. I mean, in none of these do they ever say point blank the reason why we can't. Then they talk about war, Russia and war. But how about, listen, if you kill your own people, we're actually going to blacklist you. Now, the MSCI, they could do it. But no one seems to relate killing people with investability. They, the war, yes, and globalization, yes. But I think it's a question of, look, if you murder people, we're not going to let you, we're not going to invest in you. And if you don't, we will invest in you. So it's not the end of globalization. It's the end of reckless globalization. And I think that that's what they have to start saying. So, reckless globalization. So the difference between Ukraine and the Uyghurs, for example, in China is what? Sovereign nation? Sovereign status? No, that's violated? Well, I don't think there's any difference. I think both places commit genocide or and therefore are not investable. But look, I, I am, I, I tell you, I'm a throwback. I bet you President Eisenhower would agree with me. Uh, President Johnson, I think, I, think, uh, I think President Nixon would agree with me for heaven's sake. You know, if, if you're out there doing things that, crimp, that not crimp civil rights, but kill people, maybe you shouldn't be investing in them. I mean, this is the General Motors versus Ford debate when um, and FDR came to both of them and said, look, we need you to make tanks. And GM said, w uh, where and when? And Ford said, you know what? We invest in Germany. We're not going to do that. Well, I mean, you know, I, I think that we have a, I have a GM attitude. I don't.